so this is NMCT 860 machine it has a spec system dual head and the CT 16 slice and today I am going to show you what are the different uh, detector modes available with this system and that you can see on the this interactive screen there are different gantry modes available so here you can see the names of the modes are written H mode, L mode, stretcher mode, plantar mode, vertical inside low, vertical inside high, vertical outside low, vertical outside high and CT mode and if you want to change the collimator there is your option to go to the collimator exchange second is gantry reset and morning startup test all these modes are available here so these are the graphical presentation of the different gantry modes so currently it is H mode and this one is the L mode and this one is the stretcher mode so if you want to scan the patient directly on the stretcher without transferring the patient on the table you can do directly on the so this kind of uh, scan is done basically in the ICU patient who cannot be shifted to the machine bed and this one is the plantar view if you want to take the sole picture of the patient please you can make the patient to sit on the chair and keep the legs directly on the detector to take the view this is the vertical H mode where the patient can be made to stand in the middle of the two detectors and take the views anterior and posterior in the standing positions this is the same this is the high level and this is the lower level picture and these are the vertically outward like the detectors are facing outside and this is for the taking the lower views and this one is for taking the upper body pictures and this last one is the CT mode like if you want to perform a standalone CT without respect then you have to change to this mode and then you can do a CT only scans so one by one I will show you so let's go to the L mode first and then press set and be careful while doing this there should not be any obstruction around the detectors so there won't be any collision so you can see the multi-dimensional movement the table has gone down and the detector is taken the L shape and moving at the upward and in this you can do all your cardiac scans so now the, all the motion is stopped now you can go to the sec third one that is the stretcher mode so in the stretcher mode if you play, press set it is giving a message here move the table to the slanted position that means we it, in this position we cannot change it to the stretcher mode so first we have to shift the table so this is how the table is shifted and locked and now press set now you can see the detectors will go to the flat stretcher mode okay so you can readjust the height of the detectors using these tools available you can move up you can move down and you can take the static scans and dynamic type of scans yeah whole body scan you can do but uh, it will be like a multi-static 
it is not like a sweep scan it will be a multiple static images can be taken no detectors both will be active and if you want to use in one detector you can use one detector both the detectors yes. now the third one is this plantar mode so let's go to the plantar and then press set so here you can see it is showing the message remove the patient and then press ok to continue so it gives the reminder for the patient safety you have to remove the patient remove the stretcher and then press ok ok is option is here So first time it given a second attempt. So that is for the patient safety to be doubly sure that you have removed the patient. So again you can adjust the height and this is the lowest yeah you have to make yes it is high right so you have to keep a big chair yeah. now fourth option is the vertical vertical low so press set press ok Okay, so you can again adjust the height if you want. So this is mostly used in the case of children where the height is less. And next option is vertical high. So just select the vertical high and press set. So this is can, can be done for the adults and the upper part of the body. You can again adjust in and out movement is also possible. Now next option is the low vertical out. Press set, press ok.
So patient can stand here and you can perform the static or dynamic images. Next is the vertical opposite eye. Press OK. Now the position is reached and if you want to readjust the detectors you can do that. You can move down, you can move up and if you want to come back to the edge mode then scroll up. Edge mode press set, press ok. Now to go to the CT mode, first we have to shift the table there. Ensure that the table is logged properly. And then scroll down and go to CT mode and press set. So this one is for standalone city, not the spec city, only city. So if you go this mode, the table will position to do the city scan only. Now it's reached to the city position. Now you can manually you can manually adjust the table height. You can move the table in. Now you have to go to the city entry. Now this is the rear view of the gantry, here you can see the CT control switches, this is for the laser light, if you press this, you can see the laser light is switched on inside the gantry. So if you want to switch it off, you can switch on, these are the laser lights. So from where you want to start the CT scan, this is the view, this is the landmark where you want to view. So position the laser light at the start location and press this so that you can give the get the zero zero digits and this is your line marking done if you want to adjust the table up you can do the centering uh, down or you can move to out or you can move in so i just after adjustment you can press this start location so 0 0 means this is your start location of the scout image so th there are two landmark buttons so here you can see the brain picture is below the laser light so if you want to start the scan from here then you have to press this switch 
but if you want to begin your scan from that laser point then you have to press this button so a scan will start from that laser light and if you press this the scan will start from this laser light so this is called external marking this is called internal marking you can put the laser light on 